So I wrote this poem many, many, many years later. And uh, it's somewhat, it's, it's also about love in a way. And it's called uh, La Strada a la Tristeza. So whenever you're ready, you can play that track. creeping into adultness now. You can say I'm like 19, 20. This one is called Answer Me. Okay? I have questions eating away at my soul like a flesh-eating disease. Why won't you answer me? Put my burdened heart at ease. I have questions. Why does it always begin with sex? Why do I always end up here? Used, broken, alone, surrounded, but alone? I have questions. You have no answers. You just take of me, partake of me, this body, my sex. I am destined, talented, creative, a deviant, defiant, stubborn, torn, in denial, and alone. But when we are together, I am reduced to a gaping hole. Why? I have questions like, 
Why am I dismembered and incomplete? Where did it all go astray? My sense of worth, respect, and morality. How can I regain my sanity? When does the, in when does the reconstruction begin, or will I continue this path until the end? I have questions. How come when I touch you, I want to cry? Tears made from the purest waters of my soul. This fabrication of love, it's fake. But as long as it'll make me feel whole, it's okay. So I bring you closer around me, right by me, inside me. Are the spasms you invoke some sick, sinful joke? Am I crazy? Do I love you? Will I bear your child? Will you infect me? Will I kill you? What will become of us two? Us crazy young lovers. I do love you. I did love you. When I said it, when you were inside me. But I have doubts and I have questions. Does your mark leave a stain? Will I be scarred? Will you burn me until I am left damaged without, beyond repair as a result of our affair? I have questions that you answer by kissing me on the lips and cooing me with soft whispers, shh, brushing up against me, telling me you love me. Sounds so sweet, but do you love me? Or am I just another insatiable hole for you to fill? Thank you. Yeah. Life is not all about who you love and who's loving you, uh, you know, and sex and stuff. It's about friendship and happiness and all of that. So this is, a very, this is a poem that I read to myself when I want to be happy, and it's called May. Okay? Yesterday has passed. Redundant words circle my conscience. Walking with my head face towards the ground, I am lowly. These words that push me further and further until I am no more. Nothing, that is me, and no one around says any different. As my gaze meets the floor, I notice peculiar things. Leaves fallen from glorious trees, they are crumpled and defeated, ripped from the comforts of a home. Moisture collects, dampening the remaining shredded and ugly pieces. I stare at my companions. Leaves plastered to the concrete, we are one with the earth, disconnected from this world where no one bothers to look down, and yet they look down upon us. They look down upon me. The crowd appears. They are faceless sheep with glistening shoe-shined hush puppies. They are monsters in their judgment and harsh words. You shiver in the wind and I long to comfort you, to scoop up the bits and pieces left intact and carefully carry you home in my shallow pocket. Sneakers and boots, they tap, tap on the concrete. They mark you and crush you. Wait, okay. Hold you down, keep you there. I watch in silence. Today, when I return, there will be no leaves. The cold, empty ground will yield no fragments, no evidence of your existence. I will lie in your place. They will walk on me, keep me down as they always have. Invisible to the bustling herd, I am complacent in my sub in wait no. Invisible to the bustling herd, I am submissive to their abuse. Complacent in my position, I stare up at the sky, at the outstretched branches with an abundance of thriving emerald leaves. Today I will surely die. They will trample me with their closed mouths and with their open mouths and closed minds. Tomorrow I will be reborn. Resurrected, healthy, and green, looking down at the world and above it all.